How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I want to share with you the steps that I recommend after you have your piston and sleeve resized uh, by the Drake Racing. So when you have your piston and sleeve resized, you do not need to do a full break-in like you would with a new engine or an engine that was EBIS'd. When the piston and sleeve is resized, we will check the tolerance of the rod. Depending on the tolerance of the rod, we'll determine how tight we can go within our range um, that we recommend for resizing. So if you have a rod bushing that's a little bit more tired, we will pinch it to where it's within our tolerance, the range we recommend, but more the lighter side of that. If it's been resized with a new connecting rod, we can resize it a little bit tighter um, to where then there is a little bit more of a break-in process. But for the most part, it's really simple. Um, it's super important when you have an engine resized that you preheat the engine and that you're a little bit conservative with the high-speed needle for the initial running. And that's because you have a used connecting rod with a piston and sleeve that now has compression as if it's a slightly newer engine, but again, with a rod that has quite a bit of time on it. So super important, make sure you preheat the engine, be a little bit conservative with a high-speed needle. If you send in the full engine, we'll usually uh, make some slight adjustments to the carburetor. A lot of times we can reduce the idle gap because now that the engine has more compression, it, it won't need as much idle gap um, and also rich in the high-speed needle for you. But um, just be a little bit conservative with that. Um, and again, from there, it's, it's really simple. Preheat the engine, fire it up, maybe let it run for, I don't know, three to five minutes on the box just to kind of run idle a little bit. You can kind of fine tune or bench tune it and then hit the track and start running. Just make sure when you hit the track, uh, the high speed needle is a little bit conservative so that you're getting a little bit of extra fuel and oil um, to kind of reseat the piston and sleeve back in. But really simple process. Again, don't need to do a full break in, doesn't need to be EBIS after being resized. Um, pretty much resize it, preheat it, hit the track, just be a little bit on the conservative side.